what we have here is a foreign company using foreign materials to pump foreign oil through America's heartland. When we can do better with a homegrown vision of American energy, good union paying jobs in our steel mills making wind turbines across the United States and creating those millions of jobs for my generation that we need. We can do it. We can make the United States a global leader. We can end our addiction to oil. It starts here. It starts today. And it starts with your decision by firmly coming out against and rejecting the Keystone XL pipeline. This pipeline will set back the clock 25 years of energy development in this nation. It will delight our enemies. It comes down to a couple things, folks. CO2 emissions, clean water, and American blood. Stop this pipeline. Please, if nothing else, before you decide on this, adopt quality standards. And I know that you may not have them right now, you think you don't, but the Nuclear Regulatory Commission does have them. Give them a chance to build something that's right, regulated, welding procedures, and maybe, just maybe, there won't be 14 leaks in the first year. One of the worst disasters of a pipeline in history. Thank you very much. President Obama ran a campaign on trying to clean up Washington, D.C. and cleaning up the lobby process. It is clear that this process is failing his promise, it is failing the American people, and it is failing the environment, and it is failing our need globally to address climate change. This pipeline should and must be stopped. And I want to challenge Secretary Clinton, President Obama, who I think has a ethical and moral obligation prior to making this determination of an approval to visit the tar sands, to see the tar sands, to hear our people, and to listen to the many concerns and issues our people have. And so with that, I'm happy to be here with our indigenous brothers and sisters from both sides of the border to oppose this pipeline. Thank you. Thank you. In 2006, one senator stated, Saying that America is addicted to oil without following a real plan for energy independence is like committing alcoholism and then skipping out on the 12-step program. It's not enough to identify the challenge. We have to meet it. That senator is now our president. State Department, today, if you feel the sense of urgency we feel, then you have no doubt the moral choice you must make. Either you will support the oligarchy and the oil industry, or you will stand up the American people, environmental and civil rights justice. We're empowering you, the State Department, to deny the pipeline for the Keystone XL. Thank you. Our Lakota prophecy tells us when Mother Earth cries, we stand up and we fight for her, or she will die and we will die with her. So I ask everyone to remember, crying Earth, rise up. Rise up with Mother Earth. Rise up and say no, no to this pipeline, no to death, no! <laughs>